Growing 4C natural hair comes with its own unique set of lessons, more so with the kind of curly textured hair that type 4C hair represents. So here are 10 things that I've learned in my 4 years of growing my type 4C natural hair. Number 1. Patience is key. So type 4C hair is known to shrink a lot, making your hair appear shorter than it is. So growth may not be immediately visible, but with time and care, the progress begins to show. One thing I've learned over the course of five years is to know that patience is very, very important in your hair care journey. Number two, moisture is your best friend. Over the years, I've discovered that the only thing that makes your hair to thrive is moisture regardless of how you want to put it moisture is very very important more so when you know that because of our tight coily pattern it is very difficult for the natural oil to travel down her air shaft because ordinarily the sebum that your scalp produces is supposed to be enough to nourish your scalp and your hair strands so are you going to neglect your hair and not give it the oils that it needs to stay uh, moisturized or to grow healthy no you have to put in extra effort you can also do the scoop and spread method where you can scoop out the sebum from your scalp and you know spread it along your hair shaft so that your hair shaft can also get the benefit of your sebum number three detangling requires extra care type 4c hair is prone to tangling like they like to coil up on each other i mean this moment you detangle your hair and if you are not properly taking care of that detangled hair it can tangle up on itself once again so detangling should be done gently and with a white tooth comb or your fingers. In the um, course of my hair journey, I've used um, a white tooth comb, I've tried using brushes, and I've also used my fingers. And I find that using my fingers are the most beneficial for me. It helps me to retain length. It also helps me to minimize breakage. But whichever uh, method you want to use, either you're using a tool or you're using your hands, um, one thing I would advise is to make sure you dampen your hair with some conditioners, you know, make sure your hair strands are well coated with conditioners, with oils, with anything that helps you to, you know, manage the tangles on your hair. So you don't want to detangle on dry hair. That is one big lesson I've learned. In the past, I would detangle my hair either way, whether it is dry, whether it is wet. I just detangle my hair as it comes you know but i've learned that detangling when you have some form of moisture you know some form of conditioner rather you know that helps with the management of those tangles otherwise you will just be breaking your hair so to minimize that breakage you need a form of leave-in conditioner deep conditioner as the case may be maybe you're detangling while washing your hair you can detangle with your deep conditioner on you know just anything that gives your hair that sleep so that you can be able to better manage the tangles and also prevent air breakage number four one thing I've learned is that shrinkage is normal and is a sign of healthy hair. So as much as it's very frustrating to see your hair shrink up because I know there are many people who don't like shrinkage, but trust me, it is very, very, it's a beautiful thing. You know, this moment your hair is like this, this moment your hair is like this, which means that our hair is versatile. You can carry your hair like an afro and you can also carry your hair straight. So shrinkage is good but for those people who don't like shrinkage one thing i will say is that you should try keeping your hair in styles that keep your hair strands straight so styles like twists braids you know they help you to minimize that shrinkage so uh for me being on this mini braids for the past six months now has helped my hair to be stretched so i've not really seen my shrinkage you know that much unless um the times where i take down my braids to redo them but i've not really witnessed the much of the shrinkage because my hair is in braids and if there's one hairstyle that keeps your hair straight it is braids trust me apart from african um treading braids helps to keep your hair straight so if you're very much concerned about shrinkage they do hairstyles that helps you to um, stretch out your hair so that you don't see those 
um, shrinkage. And if you're detangling your hair, um, you know, sometimes when you wash your hair, if you don't put them into maybe those chunky plaits and um, chunky twists, they are going to shrink back up i guess that is where the frustration comes for a lot of people so um try putting your hair in styles that stretches your hair so that you don't see much of the shrinkage that is if you're very much concerned about shrinkage but for me i don't think i'm concerned about shrinkage i love them as i see them <laughs> number five protective styles are essential yes they are essential i mean in the past i didn't know anything about protective styles all i knew was that i would put my hair in these cornrows and just um in a week or two i take them down so protective styles they help you to retain length they um help with low manipulation so that you're not always on your hair but still you have to make sure that you're not doing styles that put tension on your scalp put tension on your edges that you're not able to sleep you know because of tight hairstyles because of stress on your scalp no that is not the kind of hairstyles that we are talking about number six regular trims are necessary now i know that not everybody is going to agree with this but then i'm sharing this based off of my experience in these four years of growing up my natural hair i've come to realize that i just have to trim my hair what i have found with my own experience each time i try to examine the ends of my hair i've seen that the longer i leave dead ends split ends not they are going to get worse you know if i don't cut them off they're going to get worse so i just have to trim them so but one thing that i've learned with protective styling again is that keeping my hair for a long period of time helps me minimize the amount of time that i trim my hair so if i'm going for a six months protective style i might not have to trim my hair throughout that six month period so i may be doing my trim maybe after takedown of that six month hair or before installation and going for that six month challenge right now i think my regular trimming would be twice in a year because um i do long-term styles and so i don't have any reason to always trim my hair and they have a way of making my ends look very healthy so each time i'm moisturizing my hair i take my time to really look at the ends of my hair i look at them i see how healthy they are i see how stretchy how bouncy they are you know because i don't have those dead ends you know hanging there what those dead ends are not due to the ends of your hair they just make your hair looks look very you know rough very raggedy very unkept so i don't like to see those things honestly speaking and the more you think that you're keeping those hair to retain length because you don't want to cut off your hair I'm not cutting off inches the things that i cut because i'm consistent with it are very very minimal very small very tiny <laughs> you know I could, I could even say very insignificant they help me maintain the health of my hair and of course i'm still retaining length my hair is still growing number seven product selection matters product selection is one big factor growing out your natural hair because one thing you must realize is that not all product is going to work for your type for hair so in your selection just make sure you're selecting products that are rich in moisture and organic products like your shea butter your natural oils you know those things helps to nourish your hair so bear it at the back of your mind that not all products will work for you it might work for everyone else but it might not work for you so finding what actually sticks to you um something that your hair loves is something that you want to look into you have to make sure that you are focusing on products that you know tend for your own hair needs number eight healthy scalp is vital so like we all know that healthy scalp with healthy hair so you have to take care of your scalp as much as you take care of your hair your scalp have to be in good shape in good health for you to see your hair thrive number nine your hair is unique so even with the type 4c hair category and all that grouping of hair and all that your hair is still unique and everybody's hair is different so make sure you take the time to study your own hair 
learn your hair, learn what it loves, what it does not love, and focus on those things that helps you to grow a healthy hair. So the fact that I am type 4C hair and your type 4C hair does not mean that the same thing will work for us. No, it doesn't work that way. So make sure you are listening to your hair and that was what I did. Learning these things has been very, very beneficial to me. Number 10, and this one is a controversial thing sometimes, um, and that is heat should be used sparingly so i know that some people don't like to say don't use heat at all that is why i said use heat sparingly so um excessive um use of heat is going to damage your coil pattern i've seen a lot of naturals who use heat and they've been able to maintain a healthy hair so maybe you might want to learn from those people who are using heat but they are still able to minimize the damage that it, it causes to the hair um this past four years i've not used heat on my hair um if i do decide to do that i'll let you guys know and i'll definitely show you the process of me doing that so what do you think you've learned in the years or in the months that you've been taking care of your natural hair so for whichever type of hair that you have either 4c3 or type 2 just um share with us in the comment section so that we can all learn from each other i hope this video inspires you to care for your natural hair and not give up because like me i've also had setbacks in these four years of growing up my hair but it has not stopped me from going forward and finding out ways in which i can better care for my hair and grow healthy long hair if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up like this video share with your friends and um, i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye